Good morning, card community. It's RJ back with another video. So let's get to it. Obviously, I'm doing a full reveal today because I'm going to be doing a VR in a moment for another channel. So I'm uh, going to be showing things and I want to get behind it here. Um, also, um, I'm wearing my Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs cap tonight because I'm going out to a ball game soon. This is their City Connect style, if you know. Organized Baseball this year is doing uh, special, um, unique uniforms on Friday evening home games at all stadiums, even down in the minor league. So this is the cap that they chose to go with for the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Uh, in the Lehigh Valley area of Pennsylvania, you will find a lot of German cultural tradition. And uh, this is what is known as a Moravian star in the Lutheran tradition. So that's why that made the cap. Um, so that's why I'm doing a face reveal and wearing this cap, but let's get to the basics, shall we? Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day from 1984. Uh, the Phillies, uh, annually from about the mid seventies up until just recently produced their own set of oversized cards honoring players of the time. And this one is, uh, obviously Mike Schmidt, uh, it's listed as a future hall of famer because they tracked the uh, stats of all the home run hitters career-wise, and he made the list, and they knew he was going to be a future Hall of Famer. Uh, so that is uh, the 1984 Phillies release card of Mike Schmidt. Uh, today's random baseball item of the day. From 1999, upper deck, out of the base set, this is a Ken Griffey Jr. checklist. Look on the back. So this is the checklist, got a few cards listed. And the reason uh, this is when card companies started putting players on their checklist. I think Fleer might have done it first in the early 90s, rather than just boring checklists. Uh, this is celebrating, you can see here, the number 300 prominently displayed. Uh, Junior became the second youngest to hit his 300th career home run uh, by 1999. Obviously went on to much greater heights. And is now a Hall of Famer, but this is what happened in 1999, this checklist. So there you go. All right. Today's trivia question. Um, when you win the World Series, chances are you have a member of your team who is very, very good. And chances are that if you have a member of your team who is very, very good, that member of your team will eventually make it into the Hall of Fame. So... I want you to tell me who is the first, which team uh, was the earliest team to ever win the World Series, yet to date, to date, they do not have that roster, the ones who appeared in the World Series, and you can look up who made the World Series roster. So what was the earliest team to make it to the World Series and win it? yet not have a member of a current Hall of Famer on the roster of that World Series winning team. So send me an email with the correct answer, which we're playing for, from 19, from, sorry, sorry, from 20, from 2021, from 2021 update, the 1992 style uh, insert of Jazz Chisholm Jr., his rookie card from that one. This is T92, number 26, so you can see here. Nice big rookie logo. Jazz Chisholm's doing pretty good this year. So this is a nice little rookie card of a great player of today. That's what you're playing for. Just shoot me an email with the correct answer to that trivia question. I will include my email in the description below along with the repeat of that question. You'll have today and tomorrow an answer. We'll pick a winner on Sunday. All right. Good luck to everybody on that. So today what I'm doing is um, Darren over at Return to Collecting. Huge Dolan Ryan fan, does great vintage collecting, a um, lot of awesome baseball stuff. He's reached 1,000 subs, and he wants us to do a VR for his 1,000th sub. Uh, what does he want us to do? Um, first thing he wants to do is to support the community and help it grow. He wants us to shout out three, um, or a few, you know, I guess, I'm just doing three. I'm not sure if he had a number. I can't recall. I will include a link to his video in the description below so you'll know where to, to look to find out all about 
his uh, VR. Um, anyway, um, he's asking for us to shout out some of the uh, channels out there with less than 300 subscribers. And I'm going to give you three in a moment. And then he also wants you to do a, you know, tell everybody about a goal card. What is a card you want to try and track down in the next 12 months? It's not like it's a Holy Grail card. It's not like we say, well, someday I'd like to have the 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle. Uh, it's not a dream card. It's something that in the next 12 months you're going to shoot to acquire. All right. So I'm going to start with the shout outs. So I, I tried in my shout outs to try and highlight a couple of the people who actually support my channel who still have under 300 subscribers so people who routinely play along with my trivia i got two of those and one other guy which i was just shocked when i realized he didn't have 300 subscribers already so anyway so the first one a uh, guy who always participates in my uh trivia questions a uh, guy whose channel is barry barry and he's got 230 scrubs subs today um, he, he, he rips all sports and he does a lot of TTM. So he's not a, he's on an all time, uh, constant like video Pearson. I mean, I get, I do regular videos three times a week. And then this recap on Sunday, I try never to miss that schedule. I know there's a lot of other people who do almost daily videos or they have a schedule of some sort or they do regularly. Barry's not a regular guy, but he's trying his best. He's a 230 uh, subscribers and again he does participate regularly in my trivia contest so Barry shout out to you sir hopefully you can get up to 300 the next one is a new person to my channel so he does not have a lot of subscribers uh, that person is Pastor Ken over at Pastor Ken's collection Pastor Ken's curveballs excuse me he's only at 169 at the moment okay and he does a lot of live streams, believe it or not. He does, he does ripping on live streams and a lot of live stream chats. So if you like to participate in live streaming things, check out Pastor Ken over at Ken, Pastor Ken's Curveballs. Uh, mostly baseball. I don't, don't recall ever seeing many other sports, although don't quote me on that. I did join in once to his live chat. Uh, just with the texting, I didn't, you know, jump on the stream yard or nothing. But anyway... So check out Pastor Ken's Curveballs. Go subscribe to him. Let's see if we can get him a little higher. Uh, maybe join his chat. Get to know him a little. The last one I want to shout out. Um, I met this individual. Had a great conversation with him at the National. We sat down at the table and we're chatting for a while there. And that is Matt from The Card the Card Story. T-H-A, The, T-H-A, and T, I'm not sure why, but H-A, Hank. So he's a huge Hank Aaron collector, uh, does a lot of vintage work. He's at 286. When I saw that, I was shocked. I thought for sure he was well over 500 by now. But uh, he slowed down his video making, so he, it, he's sporadic. Uh, he'll go a couple of weeks before making another one nowadays. He did have his son on all the time, but I think as he said, it's something to the effect his son is kind of getting uh, tired of baseball cards. Don't quote me on that. Maybe it's not as bad as that but um uh, he's not as frequently making videos at all but matt is a great guy i really enjoyed getting to know him at the national uh the youtube gathering that is so shout out to matt he was at 286 uh if you're not subscribed to him please consider doing that see if he can't get over um 300 all right so what am i looking for in the next 12 months so I mentioned that I was trying one of the one of the sets I have a, a I'm trying to create a goal of mine every year is to add six cards to this collection. That is the uh, 1909 E95 Caramel Card Collection. And I'm going to show off all of the Hall of Fame cards I have in that one because in the next 12 months I hope to have one of the bigger names in the hobby in this card. So. One of the earlier Hall of Fame cards I got was a Frank Chance. I'm not, this is not a PSA set registry for me. I don't care about PSA graded cards on this one. I'm just trying to finish the set. So I got an SDC one on this one. Um, it was my intention as I buy cards to get six a year. I'm in my third year now. I will finish 
this year. Uh, there are 25 cards in the set. I'll finish this year with 18 total cards, uh, needing to get six more next year to go to 24. And then there'll be one card left, and I'll explain that in a second. So then I have Eddie Collins. I was thrilled to get this card when I got it. Very inexpensive price. I was shocked at how cheap I got this card. Uh, 1.5 SGC Eddie Collins, Hall of Famer. 1.5 SGC Sam Crawford, Hall of Famer. Old style SGC label on the uh, 30 or uh, the uh, you know the PSA 2 equivalent. Johnny Evers. And again, these are all E95 Caramel cards. This one I picked up not too long ago. I made a big deal about it when I got it because it's just a, such a fantastic pickup. I'm stoked that I have it. A Christy Matthewson card. A period playing era Christy Matthewson card. E95 1909 Philadelphia Caramel card. Absolutely fantastic that I picked that one up. Uh, that was my first Hall of Famer this year. I tried to pick up two Hall of Famers a year, and then the other four are non-Hall of Famers uh, because there's a certain number of Hall of Famers in the set that I'm trying to acquire. And then lastly, there was Vic Willis. He was one of the earlier ones I picked up. Hall of Famer for the Pirates. So those are my Hall of Famers. So I picked up Christy Matheson earlier this year. That was uh, one of the big ones I needed. I also uh, am in the process of trying to acquire the Eddie Plank card. Now that might be, well, it will be when I snag it, my first ever comma card. Uh, I'm not thrilled about that, but that's the way the cost is. Um, that's not the one I'm talking about. I am trying to acquire that in the next quote unquote 12 months, but I want to get that one by the end of the year. Uh, that's my goal. It's been a goal, like I said, every three years. I've been doing that goal of six E95 caramel cards. Um, next year, the Hall of Famers that remain, I'll hold up the Christy Matheson card for a while. I just like the card. Um, the two Hall of Famers that remain after I get the plank this year will be uh, Chief Bender from the Philadelphia Athletics and then Ty Cobb. You can imagine what the top Ty, Ty Cobb's going to cost me. But that's... Uh, that is the card. The card. I'm going to try within the next 12 months. I might push it to 18 months if you consider the final part of the year. Uh, might be 16 months if you consider where we are in August right now. So in the next 16 months, I need the Ty Cobb E95 Caramel card. That is my goal. And then at the end of next year, I hope to have 24 out of the 25 cards that make up that set. Now, you might think to yourself, well, great, then year five, it'll be no problem to pick up the last card, right? Not so fast. The last card in that set is the Honus Wagner card from the E95 1909 Philadelphia Caramel set. And the E95 1909 Philadelphia Caramel, Caramel Honus Wagner card routinely sells for about 10 grand. So, I uh, don't know how I'm going to swing that, but maybe I'll sell off a whole bunch of other things and come back with that. I don't know. I don't know if I can get 10 grand for uh, things I don't want to part with. There's or things I do want to part with, put it that way. If there are all the things I do want to part with, would that make 10 grand? I doubt it, <laughs> but we'll see what we can sell. Everything but the kitchen sink, right? And then come up with the Ty Cobb at the end, or the Wagner at the end. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that is my VR for Darren over at Return to Collecting. Uh, do check out his channel below. I'm going to put a link to the actual VR video he released. His, his statement about his 3,000th, three, 3,000th, three, three three thousand, or not 3,000, his 1,000th subscription and his contest, so that you'll go know what to do and how to do it. And then, um, yeah, I think early September, he's going to pick a winner. He's given away, he's given away a T206, Christy Matthewson. So uh, that's what he's given away as a prize. If you like your uh, Matthewsons, if you like vintage, certainly give it a shot. I mean, he's given it away. 
So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, congrats to Darren over at Return to Collecting for making it to 1,000. I know I'm getting near 500. I, I really have stopped caring. Um, numbers really are unimportant, mostly because I'm not getting a lot of eyes on my videos anyway. So what does it matter how many people watch? I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Those people who watch must be enjoying it because they keep coming back. And that's why we're here to begin with, isn't it? So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Please consider like, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz. Uh, appreciate your support as I try my best support everybody else in this great current video, right? Come back again on Wednesday and Friday for more trivia and prizes. Have a great week. Take care.